Trinidad and Tobago is committed to WIPO and the ideals of WIPO. Signing of these treaties are important for our people and the development of our economy. For Beijing, we think it's especially important for our artists and performers. They can have economic rights. For Marrakesh, it's important to address the book farming and provide access to printed materials for those who are blind, visually impaired, or print disabled. And lastly, for Singapore, streamlining, introducing technology, allowing for filing of trademarks will absolutely help and improve opportunities for our people. We are absolutely delighted that Trinidad and Tobago has acceded to three of our treaties. Uh, and first, let me pay tribute to Trinidad and Tobago for the great commitment they're showing to multilateralism and to international cooperation in the field of intellectual property. So the first of those treaties is our Beijing Treaty on Audiovisual Performances, where Trinidad and Tobago becomes the 28th uh, contracting party. We need 30 for it to enter into force, so we're very confident by the end of the year, we will perhaps get to the stage where the treaty will come into force. The Singapore Treaty on the Law of Trademarks. It's a landmark because Trinidad and Tobago becomes the 50th contracting party. Uh, and this is a treaty which will facilitate, I think, the life of uh, all persons who use marks in the, in the uh, economy. And that really applies to everyone from small and medium enterprises and individuals through to... Uh, large enterprises. And then our very popular Marrakesh Treaty, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, T uh, Tobago becomes the 61st contracting party, which now covers 88 countries since the European Union is one of those contracting parties. So these are really great events, uh, and uh, I, again, I pay tribute to Trinidad and Tobago for its great commitment to multilateralism.